The Kaisar has marked you for death, and the Legion obeys. Ready yourself for battle. Station Charlie. What? What happened? Those were good men at that station. Good men. This whole town was sleeping a lot easier because of them. Now, who knows what we're in for? The Legion? Christ. We'd be better off with raiders. Well, thanks for telling me. I know that knowledge didn't come without risk. Here, take this. Courtesy of the Ranger Veterans Fund. Look out for yourself. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? Yeah, well, you see anybody wearing Legion Crimson or a lot of sports equipment, you just let me know. You still haven't answered my question. I think you better leave. Wait. You just got into town. Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. 
I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. I said it was a start. This town, nobody looks me straight in the eye anymore. I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come and what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. I know, all right. That's all you need to know. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or well, the Legion will be after me next. Yeah. What's new? Had his wife taken. I don't think he'll ever be the same as he was. Damn shame. I told the rangers up at the station to keep an eye out, but there's just too much ground out there for them to cover. Carla was a knockout. Whenever Boone walked around with her, he always had this funny grin on his face like he couldn't believe his luck. I know we couldn't. That wasn't the only reason she stuck out, though. That girl never minced words. If she'd had better food or hospitality, she'd let you hear it. Trouble was, she usually had. I don't think she meant it. She really was a sweet girl. I think she just wanted to remind herself that there's still nicer places in this world than Novak. Who could blame her for that? Look out for yourself. Hey. Welcome to Novak. It's not very exciting here, but the people are friendly enough. My engineering skills have been coming in handy, too. I've got plenty to do. Thanks for telling me about this place. What's going on, man? Man, everybody. That girl didn't have one friend in this whole town. She didn't want any. She wanted to sit in her room all day and make herself miserable, and she went out of her way to be rude. She upset a lot of people. You wouldn't have liked her either. Believe me, when I heard the news, my first thought was, I owe somebody big. I figured Boone would come around after a while. But he hasn't. I'm starting to think that if he doesn't find her, things will never go back to the way they were. Yeah, see ya. You've seen them too, haven't you? I can see it in your eyes. I knew I wasn't the only one. I don't trust a man that doesn't have something strange going on about him, because it means he's hiding it from you. If a man's wearing his pants on his head, or if he says his words backwards from time to time, you know it's all laid out there for you. But if he's friendly to strangers and keeps his home spick and span, more often than not, he's done something even his own ma couldn't forgive. Seen it all. Seen shadowy folk come to his room and leave again in the middle of the night. Thought one might have gone in the lobby, too, for a spell. Could be that person went in to get something. Or used the John, maybe. Mighty interesting either way, you ask me. I thought it was cannibals, come to eat us all for sure. So I kept out of sight. But now I'm no better. More rat men. Come up from the underneath to steal young women with promises of riches and fancy mud mansions with all the latest designer appliances. They covered our lady folks' long hair for wigs, it said, being either bald or balding themselves. If anyone asks, we never spoke.
I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. I can't see as how I'd charge you after the generous things you've done for the town. The room's on me. Your room will be the one upstairs, closest to the lobby side. Here's your key. Let me know if there's anything I can do to make your stay better for you. Hey there. Is everything all right? Awful late to be dropping in unexpected. Okay, if that's what you think. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. You can jump out the window for all I care, mister. You got no right to come in here and start criticizing our town. Folks work hard to keep it clean and safe. We do the best we can, but still, there's always some of you finicky types that there's just no pleasing. Watch out for strangers. That's it, then. How did you know? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. No. People die out there. Often enough that no one worries about blame. They're too anxious to forget it happened in the first place, I guess. Besides, I was on break when it happened. You don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. Working on your own, you're a lot less effective. I've been there and paid for it. But this isn't gonna end well. Fine. Let's get out of here. What is it? I was in a lot of places with First Recon. I don't really remember. That part of my life's over now. And so is this discussion. He was a good spotter. Yeah, we were. No. Give me a rifle and a clear line of sight and I'll start picking them off before they've even seen me. Didn't have much hand-to-hand -hand training, so our chances are better if you keep the enemy out of my face. I'm trained as a spotter, too. If you're looking through a scope, I could find your targets for you. First NCR Recon. It's a sniper battalion. Sees a lot of action. They moved us around a lot. I was stationed at Camp Golf for a while. Last I heard, they're at Camp McCarran. They pick you out if you do well at the firing range. 
pays a little better. So I said, okay. Yeah, you could tell by the patch. Bear skull with crossed rifles behind it. Slogan underneath. The last thing you never see. Pretty accurate. And so are we. Was an airport before the war. Command liked it because it was already fortified and it let them keep an eye on the strip. They've got an old monorail that still runs between them. Used mostly for supplies and deployment. But if you get leave, you're allowed to go gamble. Was General Oliver's post. But I heard he's been up at the dam a lot lately. Guessing Colonel Shu is running it. Didn't know him. He's a signature on my discharge papers. Wasn't real popular, though. Even overheard my CO complain about him once. General Wait and See, he called him. Yeah. He introduced himself to me once. I shook his hand. Doubt he remembered me now, though. When he looked at you, you could see he understood. After some of the things we'd seen, that meant something. But I heard he'd be a general right now if Oliver didn't know the president. The big one. The one the NCR is trying to hold on to, that the Legion's pushing for. Whole war depends on holding it. It was on the front line for a while. Only resort in New Vegas no one wanted to get sent to. Doesn't have that kind of importance anymore, though. They pulled most of the troops out of there after we took the Hoover Dam. If you want, it's not really my thing. What do you want to know? No. Carl is dead. That's all you need to know. You got no right asking me that. Drop it. You don't know what you're asking. Just let it go for now. The Legion's the only thing I want on my mind right now. It's NCR land for the most part. We tamed it. Now we're settling it. A lot of people complain about it, but they forget what it was like before we showed up. It's a lot of territory to secure. Too much, even for a big army like the NCR's. Coming east was about securing the land so people could live without fear. It's not always that simple, but I think the cause is still right. And God help us if they lose. Yeah, lots of thoughts. All about the best ways to kill them. Yeah. done a good turn for the NCR and now we'd like to do one for you. There's an NCR emergency two-way radio. You call and we'll come running. You're not alone out here. The NCR has your back. Stay safe and good hunting. Glad you're with us. This is a restricted area. State your business. Or you're a Legion spy trying to infiltrate our perimeter. Give me one good reason I should let you through. No need. We already have an expert hard at work on it. Then again, our expert is an idiot. Hell, he might as well be a saboteur. I guess you couldn't do any worse. Have him fill you in on the details. He's in the back of the building. You'll know him when you see him. Keeps his sunglasses on all the time. Even when he's sleeping. There should but we're not getting much power out of it, so none of our enemies have big interest in it either. Not like Hoover Dam, anyway. We had a real fighting force here just long enough to take it from the Brotherhood of Steel. Then they got sent east to the dam like everybody else. Caesar's Legion sends skirmishers every so often, prodding for weaknesses, mostly. The reality is, if they really wanted it, we'd all be dead. Damned if I know. Put up a hell of a fight, though. We had them outnumbered, I don't know, 20 to 1 maybe? They held out as long as they could, lost most of their force before they retreated. 
gave us a little parting gift, too. They had some of the plant running, but they shut it all down. Enabled an old security system, too, to keep us away from the controls. Jerk-offs. I ask myself the same question all the time. But energy is hard to come by around here. Gives you more control over this area than troops ever could. Hell, if we lose the dam to the Legion, this little plant may be our last stand. Later. Hey, man. Who the hell are you? They bring you in to replace me? They're replacing me, aren't they? Ah, shit! Shit, man! I need this! Gotta pay the bills. And I'm addicted to a lot of different kinds of chems. I mean a lot! Aw, oh, man! How am I supposed to buy chems now? Fine, here. Worried? Do I look worried to you? I've got this under control, baby. No one else can do what I do here. What else? I'm in charge. This whole operation depends on me. No fantastic, no power. Got the whole NCR suckling my teats. And it feels so good. Well, see, we're getting power because the guy running this place is fantastic. But the mirrors outside aren't aimed right, so we're running at 1% efficiency. And I guess that just isn't good enough for some assholes. Trouble is, most of the controls for this place aren't here. They're in the tower. And that place has some crazy pre-war security system that the dumb shit NCR set off when they took over. Killed two guys. Now they won't go near it. They want me to make an omelet, but I can't break any of their eggs. Know what I'm saying? There's these two terminals outside. They control the mirrors. I tried fooling with them, but didn't get very far. You'd have to get them to talk to the mainframe up in the tower, then do the rest from up there. I'm guessing, but it sounds good, right? Hey, you're not thinking about going up there, are you? Well, hey, if you find yourself up at the mainframe, do yourself a favor and make sure you send the power to the right place. It needs to go to the Strip and McCarran. Because I get paid, that's why, per kilowatt hour, whatever the hell that is. That's where the NCR wants the power, so that's where I want it. But you know, you do that, maybe I put in a good word for you with them. Fantastic's little helper. There's a reputation you can hang your hat on. Fuck, man. Everything. I push buttons, I turn dials, I read numbers. Sometimes I make up little stories in my head about what the numbers mean. Like one time I imagined they were a code to get into a vault full of naked women. Man, how cool would that be? No, man. I know exactly what I'm doing. I just don't know what effect it's going to have. Over there controls power in this building. That station has readouts on the computer network. That big knob there makes a crazy noise. Uh, sparks come out of that slot if you put stuff in it. And I'm learning more every day. It was easy, man. They were going door to door asking if anyone knew any scientists. I said look no further. They asked me if I knew anything about power plants. I said as much as anyone I had ever met. They asked me how well I understood theoretical physics. I said I had a theoretical degree in physics. They said welcome aboard. Here, you want this. It's the password to one of the terminals outside. Found it written on one of the stalls in the bathroom. It's unusual to see a new face here. Are you a soldier or a scientist? Then we have that in common. Whom do you typically work with? Very well, yes. I'm part of the followers of the apocalypse. If you're not familiar, we seek peace and the spread of knowledge. Knowledge that must never be lost to the world. Now your turn. That's reassuring, although many who've made that claim over the years have had less than pure intentions. But if it's really as you say, then take my advice. This installation carries with it dangers that no one here has realized. Take care of what you do here, and who you listen to. Some things are best left buried with the old world. I don't entirely know, 
Our records on the company that built this place suggest that their dealings were not only in energy, but also in weapons. And I've seen equipment here marked with symbols used by the pre-war military. Targeting computers, shock sensors. A code word comes up repeatedly in the papers I've looked through here. Archimedes. Yes, and the technology they have in this facility is like nothing I've seen. Some of it reminds me of Enclave equipment, but more advanced. A weapon based upon it would be catastrophic, no matter who claimed it. It's no wonder the Brotherhood wouldn't give it up. They weren't here for me to ask, but I doubt they were here for electricity. When the NCR first came here, it was under Brotherhood control. They usually steered clear of one another, but something here changed their minds. The Brotherhood's interest in pre-war technology has always been in weapons. It's likely they were trying to reclaim Archimedes when the NCR arrived. Then I would say do it. As long as the power of this plant is committed to the regional grid and not to a weapon, we are safe. If you're the one to restore output, then you can route the power where you choose, and they'll never be the wiser. I can't get you past the security in the tower, but I can be of some help. I've discovered a password for one of the mirror control terminals outside. You'll need it. Oh, the NCR has their own designs for it, no doubt, but resist the urge to send it only to the thriving communities. The need for power is great everywhere. Distributing it evenly is the most rational and humane choice. I'm a man of letters. I'd be torn to pieces by the security system they have in that tower. I'd never reach the mainframe. But eventually, the NCR will. Or if not them, Caesar's Legion. They will use this place for war. Because the possibility exists, you might do anything else. You're the only choice I have. Not yet. By some miracle, they've hired an imbecile to try and decipher the systems here. He spent months working at one console trying to get the solar reflectors to track the sun. What he doesn't know is that the only thing the console controls is the plant's intercom system. I tried to tell him, but he insisted that the largest console had to be the most important. Still, it's only a matter of time. Goodbye. Some news for you coming right up. Good Springs has fended off a mob of escaped convicts after organizing an impromptu militia. This according to an old man armed to the teeth with dynamite. Also, Caesar's Legion continues to fortify his position in Nelson, where it remains a constant concern for Camp Forlorn Hope and the nearby town of Novak. The preceding segment was sponsored by the Silver Rush. Silver Rush. Feel the rush of a warm laser in your hand. Have you ever been in love with a celebrity? Now come on, you don't have to be shy. I feel it between us two. Sometimes you can't help being. I know it's stupid to be mad about the Can't run from me. Oh, the